Even the president also believes that a ramped up vaccination drive is key to not only improving our defense against the global menace, but also in allaying fears and strengthening our resolve towards regaining our normal lives despite the threats still posed by COVID 19. Mark Fatalko tells us more. For the first time since the pandemic began, schools in Maravelas, Bataan held face to face graduation and recognition ceremonies. Among them are Antonio Llamas Elementary School and Marivelas National High School, Camaya Campus. Uh, may pick-up pag sinukuran sa protocol, so meron po tayo protocol na pada isang mag-aaral ay meron po kasama na isang magkulang. In addition to the face-to-face -face graduation rights, the Department of Education aims to fully resume the in-person classes by November. Meanwhile, President Bongbong Marcos allayed fears of parents about the face-to-face -face classes despite the rising number of COVID-19 cases as the government continues to ramp up vaccination efforts in the country. We will be encouraging that, especially for younger, younger people because, again, we have to be concerned about uh, their return to school. So... Uh, that's the general. Uh, that's the general policy. We will reinstitute again the vaccination, uh, uh, the vaccination drive, so that we can we can at least uh, uh, feel safer when our when the children go back to school. For its part, Teachers' Dignity Coalition supports the DepEd's plan, but admitted it would be a major challenge as additional classrooms and teaching and non-teaching personnel would be needed. We appeal now for uh, to the government now for. Um, um, to 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 give the necessary support no in terms of um health um protocols no uh, physical facilities ng skwelahan and um additional uh, personnel no uh, para ma-ensure natin na maayos po yung ating uh, schooling parents see no problem in face to face classes but asserted schools should be safe before fully implementing the mode even students are excited to return to school and personally interact with their teachers and classmates bago mag face to face sana sa November they have to sanitize the place yung school ganun tapos sana uh, magkaroon ng mga mga ayuda sa mga bata na for vitamins para mas lumakas yung immune system nila to fight the virus. Sobrang dami pong distraction po. Kaya parang ang dami rin pong naging mahirap sa ano po sa online po noon. Kaya mas maganda po talaga na mag face to face na para medyo strict po yung oras namin sa pag-aaral. Today, Vice President and Secretary Sara Duterte led the Department of Education's meeting where the agency's 2022 national budget as well as its budget for next year were reviewed. Mark Fetalco for The Nation.